Hello artists, it's Miss Dunn here and I'm so excited to create with you today. Today we're going to be creating something different. We're going to be making a sculpture. A sculpture is 3D, which means three dimensional. That means you can view it from all different angles. You can walk around it, you can view it from above. When you usually make something on a piece of paper, it's called 2D or two dimensional because it really can only be viewed on one side. But a sculpture is pretty cool because it looks different from all different angles that you're making. So today we're going to be making a cardboard sculpture. So get out your scissors and let's get started. Today we're going to be making cardboard abstract sculptures. I recommend using maybe a cereal box as a thin piece of cardboard. And for older students, they could probably use a regular piece of cardboard with some bigger scissors. All right, so let's dive in and get started. I use the thin piece of cardboard I had laying around, scissors, and optional, you can use a permanent marker to add some designs on yours. With your scissors, go ahead and cut shapes. You can cut any shapes you want. You can cut geometric shapes, like triangles, squares, rectangles, trapezoids, or you can make organic shapes, which means it's a shape that you make up. I made about 10 shapes. You don't have to use all of them, so sometimes it's easier to make more and then use less. After you're finished making all of your shapes, you're going to cut little slits on the sides so that way you can fit the pieces together however you wish. Now you can cut them as you build, but I just cut some random ones on different sides and figured I would just try and build as I go. I cut two times on each piece. After you're finished, you're going to go ahead and start putting them together. Now you can try and fit the little slits together to build or not. Either way it really works so it's up to you. You can start off by maybe trying to build it stronger by having them connect but for thinner cardboard you don't have to connect them that way. Think of building this like a puzzle. Fitting pieces together but you can move them around so it might topple over the first time you make it and that's okay. So just keep trying different ways to see what you like best. What's really awesome about making sculptures is that they're 3D and they look really cool in all different directions and ways you look at it. So the way you're viewing it now is different than the way that I was viewing it as I was making it. I also decided to make a second sculpture with the extra pieces I had left over. And I even decided to bend one of my pieces of cardboard to help my structure stand up and to make it more interesting. All right, so here are the two sculptures I made. This one I kept messing around with, so I decided I'm gonna take it apart and make it look cooler by adding designs. You can really use any markers, crayons, even paint on these. I decided to add different designs on mine, only on one side, just to break it up a little bit. After you're done adding designs, go ahead and put your sculpture together. Maybe this time is a little bit different than the last time, and that's okay too. Don't forget, if your cardboard keeps falling down, you can bend it a little bit too. I hope you had so much fun making sculptures with me. I had a blast making them with you. 